Welcome to Hootube Gallifrey 02. In this video, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 first Doctor stories. Now, this is my opinion, so yeah, please let me know what your favourite first Doctor story is in the comments below. So, William Hartnell played the first Doctor from 1963 to 1966, and in his time of playing the Doctor, he starred in 29 different TV stories. So today I'm counting down my top 10 and yes this is a remake of the original video as I accidentally deleted my top 10 favourite Doctor Who stories for the first and second Doctor so I'm having to redo both videos. So it gives me the opportunity to do a more refreshed list and yeah express my opinions once again. So yeah starting the list at number 10. So at number 10, we do have the Dalek Invasion of Earth. One of my first William Hartnell stories I watched, and yeah, it's brilliant in my opinion. Yeah, episode 1 is a bit boring and it drags a lot, but after that, it's good because the Daleks are in it. And yeah, the Dalek Invasion of Earth is the first companion departure story, and yeah, I think it does that brilliantly. The speech is amazing, and yeah, a good story in my opinion, the Dalek Invasion of Earth. I would say around a 7.5 out of 10. That means above average, I would say. Now moving on to number 9. So at number 9, we do have The Keys of Mavenus. Now, I haven't watched this DVD yet, but I have read the Target book. And yeah, I find The Keys of Mavenus very good, a very strong plotline, very interesting, and basically like the key to time, apart from in one st story rather than an entire season. So yeah, the Keys of Marinus, a very good story in my opinion, it introduces us to the board, who are never used again. And yeah, it's also by Terry Nation, who created the Daleks. So, moving on to number 8. So at number 8, we do have The Tenth Planet, William Hartnell's final story as the Doctor and the first ever regeneration story as well as the introduction to the Cybermen. Now I found the Tenth Planet very good, the Cybermen in it are brilliant and yeah William Hartnell's final performance is great, he doesn't appear in episode 3 but yeah a really great story in my opinion and the regeneration is good apart from William Hartnell's last words as the Doctor, I keep warm, yes warm is his last word, which I don't like. But other than that, a great story in my opinion, and I would say an 8 out of 10. Now at number 7, we do have the Time Meddler. Now the Time Meddler is the first time we see a Time Lord rather than the Doctor. And the Time Meddler, in my opinion, is a great story. The meddling monk in it is brilliant. It's Stephen Taylor's first story as a companion. And yeah, Time Meddler, a great story in my opinion, an 8.5 out of 10. And yes, yeah, so good, I think. Kind of a purely historical, but the monk adds a bit of more of a sci fi effect on the story. But yeah, great story in my opinion. Now, moving on to number 6, we do have the Daleks. Now, the Daleks is a brilliant story in my opinion and introduces us to the Daleks. Yeah, this story does drag a lot, but the atmosphere in this story is absolutely brilliant, full of suspense, and yeah, great in my opinion. And yeah, a fast fact, the Daleks who are in this are the Daleks who weren't fit enough to fight in the Daleks' master plan, which is a future story. They had to stay on Skaro as they weren't fit enough to fight in the Time Destructor events. So yeah, a fast fact, something you probably didn't know. Thank you to, for Doctor Forever for that fact. So, at number five, we do have An Unearthly Child, the first ever Doctor Who story. And yeah, An Unearthly Child, a great story in my opinion. Episode 1 is very different to the other parts. And yeah, I like Episode 1, the other parts, they're not so good. But the first part 
is a definite 10 out of 10. It is so interesting to see how Doctor Who first began all those years ago in 1963 and is a brilliant story in my opinion and introduces us to, to some amazing characters as well as most importantly the Doctor. So on to number three and at number three it's a quite underrated story this is The War Machines. Now The War Machines is absolutely brilliant in my opinion and yeah predicts the future as the Wotan machine is a machine that can think and communicate with other computers around the world. And a few years later, the internet was invented. And yeah, this basically told you that computers could connect, which is basically the internet. So this story predicted the future, like Doctor Who has done before, such as in Paradise Towers, as there is a DVD in it, and the DVD wasn't invented until a few years later. So yeah, The War Machine's a brilliant story in my opinion, a lot happens in it, and yeah, the scenery in this story is absolutely amazing, I absolutely adore the scenery in this story, and it is one of the only present day 1960s stories. Now on to number three. At number three, we do have the Daleks Master Plan. Now the Daleks Master Plan is almost completely missing. There are only three episodes out of the 12 part epic remaining and you can get the three parts on the Lost in Time box set. However, I have watched the reconstructions for all the other episodes and they are absolutely brilliant. A very strong plotline. Yes, it does drag in some points, but other than that, it's an absolutely great story. And episode two, that is remarkable in my opinion. One of the best William Hartnell episodes ever in my opinion and yeah if you want a uh, experienced Daleks master plan go for the lost in time box set so at number two we do have a very underrated Doctor Who story this is the rescue now the rescue was originally gonna come in at number one however after thinking it over I decided to put it at number two as I don't think people would have agreed at the, with this being at number one. Now The Rescue I think is a very good story, only two parts, and yeah, so dark The Rescue, everyone dies, an entire planet dies apart from the Doctor and his companions, and is one of eight stories where that happens, only the Doctor and his companions survive. Yeah, love so much about this story, especially when they're on the cliff and the poles start coming out and they start to get pushed off. So remarkable, the rescue, and so dark as well. And yeah, definite 10 out of 10. Now, the number one spot. What is my number one favourite William Hartnell story? Well, it is, without further ado, The Romans. Yes, The Romans comes in at number one. No, this is not a joke. I know in some of my previous top 10s, I put number one as a joke. No, The Romans is my number one. William Hartnell story. The Romans is absolutely brilliant in my opinion. Such a good runaround and yeah a definite 10 out of 10. My favourite purely historical story of all time and the Romans absolutely brilliant in my opinion. It's great to see Nero's Rome and all the scenery in the story. The scenery in the story is also really great and yet a lot less dark than the rescue and yeah love the romans so yeah that concludes my list please let me know what your favorite william hartnell story is in the comments below and if you have any more questions or haven't asked a question yet for my q a feel free to ask questions in the comments below until the next time goodbye